what's up you guys welcome back to marcella's way so as you saw from the title today's video is going to be on how to use the crop feature in silhouette studio now i hope you guys enjoyed the last video that i just did which was how to use an offset in silhouette studio and i really wanted to kind of go through double back and really help the new t-shirt makers and new silhouette users on how to use some of these features in silhouette studio so i figured i would just kind of like comb through and go through the different features and show you exactly how to use them so um as usual make sure you guys subscribe like this video it shows youtube that you want more content like this and that you like this video and i'm not going to do too much talking let's go ahead and get to this so i can teach you guys how to use this crop feature okay all right so let's go okay so first things first is i wanted to make sure that i had an area that or shape that i was going to crop so just for the sake of this video i'm going to use this uh two fingers but Normally, you can use a square, a circle, whatever shape that you want to use, as long as it's a blank shape and you want to basically conform uh, whatever pattern you have to that shape. Now, you also can do this to letters also. So if you want, what I'll do is I'm going to go over here to this A, and I'm going to also type... Um, the word way all right and um i'm going to show you exactly how you can um crop in words and crop in this shape that i have so as usual when i'm doing this type of design i'm going to go over here to the a um which is will show you where your um different fonts are and i'm going to use impact because it's easier to be able to um you know fit the design in a font that's a little bigger so i'm going to um from the corner from your right hand corner i'm going to drag out when you do that it makes it so your design doesn't shift uh shape it just makes it bigger it doesn't mess up the actual design so what i'm going to do is i am going to duplicate this and as you saw i well you can't see but i right clicked and then i click duplicate all right so i got two here all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this design and i want to either send it behind the two fingers or I want to bring the two fingers forward, either one. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click send to back, okay? Which will make it so it's actually behind the two. So what I'm going to, I'm going to change this two fingers black so we can actually see what I'm doing. Uh-oh, sorry. All right, so Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the design behind the two fingers, and then I'm going to left click, and I'm going to select this whole, the whole thing, all right? And then what I'm going to do is this star, not the star, I'm sorry, this, um, it looks like a square with a circle right here. All right, I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to go right here to crop, okay? So I'm going to click crop, and that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> what I actually have to do is, hold on, let me go back. What I'm going to have to do is, hold on a second. What I'm going to have to do is, it's, it's picking up um the the layers like it's i don't really want it to pick it up like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to this is outside of what i wanted the video to be but i'm going to go to release compound path 
and I am going to um, take this background off. Okay, if I take this background off, it should do something else. All right, so I'm going to select this whole thing. Remember, right click and select, and then I'm going to group it. All right. And I'm also going to make this a compound path. Now, by me making it a compound path, it put it all back together. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do what I just did again. Move this uh, pattern behind. You can barely see it. Hold on. What I'm going to do is make these um, cut lines a little bit um, more solid for the sake of the video. And the way I would do that is once I select it, I'm going to go over here. This little area up here is how you um, make the cut lines deeper. Okay. So I only did that for the sake of you being able to see this uh, video. All right, so I'm going to left click, drag, and then I'm going to crop. And now the actual design is inside. Once I move that extra layer off, it allowed me to um, be able to put it inside and it wasn't tracing it. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so basically, I didn't want to do that either. Hold on a second. Okay, put that back. I'm going to group this. Group it. Move it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same pattern and I'm going to stick it inside of the word way. So I'm going to bring that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this forward bring to front or you can send this to the back either way and then I'm going to left click and select and then go back to this little square and circle and then I'm going to go to crop there the pattern is inside of the word way so if we are um at this point if we want to size it up or down, we can. And basically, that's it. All right. So now, mind you, if you see here, when I um when I did that, it separated the words. So when you move it, you want to go back and group everything. You see. So now that it, now it's one thing. So make sure that when you bring want to bring up the menu, you right click, and then after you right click, you can um, you know click on any of these ungroup, group, whatever you want. And then when you're resizing, you want to make sure that you left click and then drag from there. Okay. So right click when you want to bring up the menu left click when you want to um resize okay all right so hold on a second i'm sorry hold on um yes so i hope that that helped this is actually um hello james welcome back <laughs> um but i hope that that helped i wanted to show you guys how to do the crop feature in silhouette studio i hope that that helped if you guys have any questions on how to um do any of these different designs or any features in silhouette studio make sure you leave that down in the comment section and don't forget to go check me out on social media platforms which would be instagram which is many things for and TikTok, Many Things Customs for, and I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, I have a my way so I can inspire you guys to have a your way. You guys have a good night.